Here's a new micro fulfilled camera with global shutter from Zcam. This is a Cinedy Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinedy and I'm here with Kinson from Zcam. How are you, Kinson? I'm good. Good to see you again, Johnny. Thank you very much. A new day, a new camera. Uh, more than one camera, actually, but this is one of the most expected camera, I would say, you know, from our fans. Sorry, did I hear well? More than one camera you have here? Yeah, it's also the E2N, our first NDI uh, HX3 certified camera. Very nice. But for filmmakers, I guess this is a bit more interesting in some ways? It is very interesting and uh, because a lot, of, a lot of the times, I mean, you heard from people, they ask for, is this global shutter or rolling shutter? And uh, we did have the, uh, the S6G before, which is a Super 35 uh, global shutter, uh, 6K format. Um, but this time we come with um, a new one, 5K. 5K. So let's start just in order that our audience will have it in a certain order. Sure. First, of all, first of all, about the format, what type of sensor do we have here? It is a 4-3 uh, inch uh, sensor. Micro Fulford, so it comes with a uh, Micro Fulford uh, lens mount. However, as you know, um, our lens mounts are user interchangeable. So they may swap um, with a, an EF, PL, LPL. But what I would recommend is to use the C-Cam turbo mount. Because with the turbo mount on this camera, even on the 4-3 inch sensor, you may um, use the very good um, Super 35 or even full-frame EF lenses. And of course, with the turbo mount comes the END or there's a separate thing? Um, unfortunately, the uh, turbo mount, there's no space in between to fit um, the, the END in because there are those uh, glasses in between. Okay, so this camera has no END built in? If you use a EF or PL mount, then you can insert the END. But if you use the latest um, uh, MFT mount, then there's no space for, um, for END. Our END is actually um, on the mount itself. Okay, good. So let's move on. So we have a micro forward sensor, global shutter sensor. By the way, can you share with us where you're getting those sensors from? Um, it's from a very uh, reputable, very well-known uh, sensor supplier. <laughs> very interesting. And this sensor can be found in other cameras in the market or that's unique for you guys? I think um, I haven't seen, well, as you know, there are not too many um, global shutter sensors, uh, I mean, or global shutter cinema cameras right now. And uh, this, th there are very few of them because, I mean, the, uh, these sensors are generally, you know, uh, a lot more expensive than the rolling shutter sensors. Um, when we look at the specifications, uh, the, the beauty of this sensor, there are um, two things I need to emphasize. Number one is that it can do a pretty high frame rate. Um, I, I don't know whether this is, you know, the highest uh, frame rate global shutter cameras, but um, this one can do 5K60. And uh, if you do a 4K um, UHD or D 4K DCI, it can do a 4K up to 94 frames. But if you change to 4K 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio, it can go up to uh, 116 frames per second. So it's high frame rate. The second thing is um, the dynamic range. Because this one um, supports um, the uh, dual conversion gain. Um, so it allows us to you know, provide very, very good dynamic range, high dynamic range. Um, in our test, you know, um, in our measurement, uh, it is up to 16 stops. Up to 16? All right. Wow. That's really encouraged me to ask the camera to run our own lab test because that's an amazing number, of course. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, because seeing is believing. I mean, it's always, you know, uh, I always uh, encourage people to do side-by-side -side testing and uh, comparison and seek the, uh, seek, seek the truth. Um, it is the dynamic range. This is, right now, um, this is actually the, the best um, dynamic range uh, cinema camera that we have ever produced. We are still in the final stage of optimizing the image quality. Uh, but so far, the performance, the, uh, I, I will shortly um, provide some uh, test footage. But of course, I mean, once we get into the hands of the professionals, I mean, like uh, Cinity, um, then I think uh, you will find it amazing. Very nice, very encouraging. One question, you, men you mentioned dual ISO in this camera? Yeah, this is also dual, um, dual ISO. Do you know already the base, like the 
the two base ISOs, like what would be the best to work with? Um, not, not yet. I'm not too familiar with uh, with the, 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 the final spec yet. Um, but uh, the important thing is not the uh, the dual native ISO, but it's the uh, the dual conversion gain because that dual conversion gain is actually uh, really giving us you know the the high dynamic range. Very interesting. So we, we we think that by combining high dynamic range, this one can be used in a very low light um, condition and shooting high frame rate and global shutter. So I think this is uh, the dream of uh, many filmmakers. You, your cameras are always very compact. It's very nice and very portable. But in this specific case, together with the glo global shutter, yes. whom are you aiming for? Whom, whom do you see using this camera? I think there are two, two typical kinds of the applications. I think for one is the uh, um, um, in the spot um, segment for those who you know shoot, uh, shooting high speed, you know um, spot stuff, and the other application would be for um, some uh, feature films and uh, productions uh, who want to shoot you know fast moving uh, sequences, you know like car chasing, and uh, if they, they need to pan to you know um, uh, very rapidly so that would that would fit their, their usage because a lot of the time they complain about rolling shot but as you know uh, most of the cinema cameras in the market they are rolling shot that there are very few global shutter cameras so this time we come with um, a global shutter camera and uh, very good dynamic range and also capable to do high frame rate so I think this is uh, something uh, they would all want to try your cameras were used lately well recently on an, on a really on, on big budget movies. Right. Some of those movies were action movies. So the request for Global Shutter actually came from some of the users, some of DPs. When all the time, all the time, you know, they, they all ask for because, uh, I mean, of course, I mean, people, people would, would prefer to use a Global Shutter camera. But uh, one of the drawbacks of some of the um, Global Shutter cameras previously was the, uh, the little bit of lack of uh, dynamic range, you know, it's a lot on par with, um, with the other rolling shutter cameras. So this time, you know, we, uh, we finally, um, we are we're able to find a very, very good sensor. The dynamic range is actually uh, surprisingly good, amazing. Um, so I think that solved, you know, uh, that takes away, you know, one of the, the previous worry. Two more quick, quick questions from my side. First of all, what is the type of media recording here? I'm recording into what? Um, like the rest of um, our E2 flagship series, uh, we um, uh, it's just not you know for uh, C fast card. So C fast card is the, um, the primary recording media. Why did you decide to stay with C fast and not to go uh, or to move forward with CF Express card, for example? Well, we have been using the, um, this, uh, C fast card because C fast card can take uh, very high uh, um, speed of. Uh, Waiting, uh, but in our um, latest, um, the E2 F6 Pro, in our new platform, um, we actually allow to use the, um, both C Fast Card and also the, um, the newly introduced uh, Z Play, which is a built in SSD with a built in uh, card reader. How about connectivity? Connectivity is um, um, HDMI, um, Ethernet, uh, SDI also? SDI is only available on the uh, E2 F6 Pro, the new uh, platform. And uh, we are actually considering to have another global shutter camera on um, the new platform. So that will, uh, that will also be able to do high frame rate, uh, very good dynamic range, but on the new platform, uh, that will come with the, both SDI, uh, 12G SDI and also Genlock. Will you also consider USB-C with uh, the ability to record externally? I know maybe it's not a fully professional feature, but for many run and gun people, creators like 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 us, it's quite important. Well, the, well this camera is uh, capable to record, you know, via USB-C. Although we don't uh, highly recommend because it's very difficult to uh, to make sure that you know the, how how secure is the USB-C um, connection, particularly if you are. Uh, filming some very valuable content, you know, there's always, you know, a certain, certain risk. So the, the, the safety way for, uh, that we would recommend is to uh, record internally using the CFAST card. Using okay, but you, card. you can use here from USB-C external recording? USB-C to record externally, yeah. 
It's the same as uh, if you want, also want to record, you know, through HDMI, it's also possible. But if you can already, you know, record the intern, internal uh, progress on the CFAS card in a very secure way, you know, why not? How about pricing and availability? So the uh, um, suggested retail price for the E2 M5G is currently set at uh, US dollar 3,999. And how about availability? Um, we plan to deliver um, towards the end of October, next month. End of October? End of you just missed my birth date. Oh. Middle of, the, of October will do, will do well, but I'm joking, of course. <laughs> Good. Kinson, thank you very much for your time. Always a pleasure talking to you. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.